The motor yield projection to bit in Drakewell is a way that a way for Drakewell to take all of the information that it knows about your well bore and to use it to calculate a more accurate projection to bit than a straight line projection. So as long as you are keeping up to date and entering your data into Drakewell in real time, Drakewell knows a lot of things about your well bore. So it'll know <clears throat> where your slides and rotates are. So let's say we have a rotate right here, a slide, then another rotate. <clears throat> so it knows where they are. It also knows where your surveys are. Say that's a survey, that's a survey. And we also know the distance from your survey sensor to your bit. So if we take some of this kind of basic information, we can also tell um, what your slide scene is, which is this part of the slide right here. And we know the course length between your two surveys and the dog leg between those two surveys. And from that, we can get the motor yield. <clears throat> then if we take your motor yield, apply it over here to this part of the well, um, we also know your slide unseen, which is this part of the slide that's ahead of the survey sensor. Uh, we know the tool face of this slide, and we know, the again, the distance from your survey sensor to the bit. We can take all this information, and we can calculate a dog leg for this section right here, and then a projection to the bit. Uh, again, that's more accurate than a straight line projection. So we can take all this information that we know about your well bore and do automatically what you've probably been doing by hand or with another kind of outside calculator.